Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cell 2 Singularity Beyond video. So, the next uh, upgrade of the universe is unlocked here as we can see. So this will now take us on to part 21, which appears to be Earth-like exoplanets. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got in store here. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Also, if you've not seen the previous episodes, definitely go ahead and check those out first. But if you're here, you probably have. So, let's go and do this. So... That's the Explore Strange Worlds done, so that was what we previously did in um, episode 20 of this. So now we're moving on to episode 21 of this uh, simulation here. Right, let's see what we've um, what we've got in store then. See what the simulations uh, got to say about it. Right, so many planets are fascinating to visit, but would make terrible homes. Too hot, too cold, drenched in radiation, or prey to a voracious cannibal, all with a fatal flaw. Okay, so, what do we got here then? Among these strange world, is there one that's tuned just right for life? Ah, uh, okay. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, just my parameters to continue the search. Alright, okay, so, moving on to the next one. Alrighty. Actually, this lines up quite well, actually, because this is actually episode 21 of this series, as well as being episode 21 of the, um, the actual main simulation. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Lines up quite nicely. Right, Calvera, Neutron Star, so that gives us some more cards. I'm still waiting to see a Neutron Star or a Black Hole Sharp in one of the objects in this that we can unlock. Right, so, obviously we've got to start from the uh, beginning again with the sun, so we have to work our way out, but hopefully we should be able to get through it fairly fast. There's one planet known to support life, Earth, and it won't persist forever. To find another, the best way um, would be to focus on my search on worlds resembling Earth that are at a cosy distance from a stable star where life could thrive for a good while. Extrapolating from the current data, I estimate the number of such planets in the Milky Way to exceed 40 billion. But when you pull it like that, it's quite a lot, but also quite little at the same time. Right, find the perfect planet. Okay, so, we're going to be looking at some, oh, probably some nice water worlds here. So, let's see what we got. So, again, we have to do the normal process of just going all the way out of the solar system to start with. So, I'm just going to go as far as we can go, and then we'll go back and level everyone up. As we um, progress. So let's get all the way to House Centauri. Cool. Then straight into the, um, the new stuff from the more recent updates that came out this year. So we can start getting those to earn us currency. And then go all the way back to the sun here. And just spam click. Absolutely crazy spam click all of these. And just get a load of stuff going. We'll go with the old boost as well. Why not get the extra two times uh, going there. Double production. That's always good while we're filming this. Right, and let's just go all the way. See, look, we've already unlocked one of the milestones already. So we'll just keep doing that. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just unlock everything before we even look at the tasks that we've got to do. So let's do this. Looking good. Oh, yes. So just get everyone leveled up nice and fast because we don't want to bore us with just doing the same stuff over and over again. So go through these as quick as possible. So we've got Io. Obviously, the Galilean moons as well. Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, and all of those guys. And since the last episode as well, all I, I do come back on and just upgrade the cards just so we get more production when the next update does release. So all the cards are as high level as possible right now that I can do. So that's good stuff for us. So again, we'll just keep going through all of these. Then Neptune, Triton, so because that's all of the solar system stuff done there. Let's go back to this really far away stuff. So all of the stars, get those guys all high level as well, because they'll be making us a lot of production there. As soon as we upgrade all of the hyperbelt objects as well, the trans-Neptunians, they're going to give us a nice node of currency as well, like Sedna, the Heliosphere, Eris. Let's get all of those guys done. Let's just get everyone on, uh, on good level. Lot of clicking. Right, and actually what we'll do is once we've got to the end of this list, we'll look at the tasks we've got to do and then we'll start trying to focus certain objects um, and do that as well. So we'll just get the golden asteroid there. Go on to the actual simulation as well. So going all the way out, so we've got the whole solar system unlocked there. Going all that says the all of that. And then into the stars. There we go. So we've got all of these stars currently unlocked. Obviously we've got to go further out, got the whole set there. <laughs> hey. Right. Cool. Polaris unlocked, so that's now unlocked. There's Polaris. Very nice. Rigel's next on the list. Okay, so let's get, just get these guys up as well. Get them nice. There's Rigel done. So Rigel's closer. There. Another, another Rigel's favourite. No, I'm getting them mixed up with Sirius. Rigel is there, even further out. Arcturus as well. 
little closer there. Found Marines. I know that one's slightly closer as well. Right, anyways, tasks. Right, what have we got here? So, question mark says the question. Kepler 186F. Okay. Alrighty. Interesting. Okay, so first mission done. Just open up this star here. There you go. Looking good. Right, so Ty said he needs to get you leveled up next. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Straight to level 7. That's the next task done. Oh, someone's got a boost there. I'll activate that. Right, over here. Polaris and Shoemaker. Okay, so we need to shoot. Oh, level greater him yet. Yeah, right. Spam click that. There you go. Straight to level 10. Do Haley's and Pluto while we're here as well. Get those guys up to good level. Hell Bob. Right, okay, so where are we now? So Polaris, Shoemaker. So we need to Shoemaker again. Arcturus, and then back to the solar system stuff. I mean, these guys have all got more levels to unlock as well. So let's just go all the way down here. God, I remember when getting level 10 took ages, and I was just flying past it like nothing. We've got, we've got all these uh, new stars and stuff. All the exoplanets added up. That's very, very nice. So sun straight to 18. We'll probably start getting to level 30 on some of these eventually. Right. Sirius done. You're leveled up. Got a new card to do as well. Oh, I can't even afford these. We need more of the Dark Matter stuff. Right, maybe we we'll have to open a black hole just to get more. Right, so Polaris and Shoemaker. Right, so we just need to naturally wait for these to uh, unlock here. So, oh, that is going to take a while. <laughs> right. For the next rank of Shoemaker Levy. So, yeah, this this looks like it's going to take a lot longer than last time now. We've got more, uh, more stuff to do. So, obviously, I'll keep doing these. And, obviously, I'll have to come back to you guys once... We can actually afford this stuff because things are getting expensive. So there's all of that. There's something there I can unlock. That's one of these things here. Where is it? It's Pioneer. Oh, I could do that right now. Pioneer turn. So it's out of these. This currency here you get from doing um just events in the game, which I just do behind the scenes. Launch the Pioneer ten probe and gain a twenty or two hundred percent gas shine boost. Sweet, done. So Pioneer ten. All the way back to the solar system. Hello. Hey. So we're the first probe that went out into the uh, outer solar system, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, before the Voyager mission, let's have a read of it. Pioneer 10. The first probe to fly, yeah, first probe to fly by the outer planet image Jupiter and three other moons while using the gas chance character to speed up to escape velocity. After exiting the solar system, Pioneer 10 is on course to reach the star Aldebaran in two million years. Hey. It's one of the very, very old school probes here. Get a nice view of Io there near Jupiter. Cool. So that increases our gas giant payout 200% times. So that's pretty good. James Webb, let's get you in as well. Remember, we have him unlocked from before. There we go. And what's that there? That's the teapot, isn't it? Um, where's the teapot? Uh, play expansion events. Yeah, okay. So the Russell's teapot to boost all asteroid production by two. Okay, so yeah, 200% is a lot better than two with the gas giant. So that's good. All right. Good stuff. Okay, so actually, I hope you give us some nice big payouts there. Right, so how are we doing here? So Polaris, we actually need to get Van Marines unlocked and form hot. We need to get all these guys because they're the ones that really give us the big payouts. See, look how look how all the solar system stuff that's just unlocked because we've just got those massive produce uh, production there. So we'll just keep boosting these. Looking good. Oh yeah. Because we still got to get all the stuff from the last episodes out. Because we haven't unlocked all of these guys yet. Let's form a whole ring. What's 12B? We need to get all of those exoplanets done. And they'll give us all the nice big paths. But I think, how are we doing here? So we still haven't got Shoemaker up yet. Yeah, we'll just get all these guys. So there's Was 12B. And while we there, so that's 55 can cry if I remember right, isn't it? Kepler 70B. So this is one of the new ones now. Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not. Never mind. That is... Kepler 184F, that's one of the new ones. So this is this is still from this was the last one of the previous set. We'll quintuple it, why not? Get all the stuff. So get all those up there. Kepler 70 B's done. Okay, so now there's uh, there's that one. That's 55. Karen Karai, sorry. This one is Gleaser, isn't it? Gleaser for um 36, if I remember correct. Uh, while we I always forget yeah, they have the custom names now. That's the new one there. So how do we actually unlock that? So, oh, rank up Sirius two more times. Okay, so, Sirius. We can do it, okay. Is that, hang on. Right. Aha! Ooh, more new music, I like. <laughs> right, hello. Right. Anaya Posha. So what, what actually is this designated as? 
Does it say what its original name is? Well, if anyone knows in the comments, let me know. What what is? Let me go, we could give it a search because I don't know all the exoplanet names that have been given over the years. I still know them by their original names. So, P O S H A. Uh, planets. So, what what actually is this? Okay, so this is Gliese one two one four B. Is the name of this is so it's got a custom name. Um, most most likely known candidate for being an ocean world. Excellent. So, what does the description here say? A warm super Earth with hazy skies lit by the rosy glow of a red dwarf. Three times bigger than eight times more massive than Earth. The planet's density means a chunk of it must be lighter than rock but heavier than gas. Very likely it is a water world. Is it hidden underneath those clouds? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Guys. So, what star is this? This must be. Um... Okay, that's just called Orcana. Okay. So, this is Gliese uh, 1214. Cool. Get that upgraded while we're here. Oh, yes. Right, so where are we? So, get all the previous ones upgraded as well. Get those current, get that currency flying in. Okay, so we need to start getting some cards for this as well. So there it is there. So Echoes of Earth. So now we are into the stars with all of these. So we're actually on stuff. We still need to get Shoemaker up. So that's that task done. So that's another one of these for us. Excellent. Okay, we're making progress. Click through that. That's another one done. I don't even know what the mission for that was, but we've done it. <laughs> so there you go. Cool. Welcome Alpha Centauri again. We can't do that just yet. So in the meantime, we'll get these guys done up. And the solar system stuff as well. Just get you up. So level 19 now for these. Excellent. So IO Europa Ganymede. Let's just continue the payouts with these guys. Is there any new constellation? Yes, there is. Cool. To hydrate, increase the click power. That's not very exciting, I have to say, because I don't really use this. What's this? Lyra. Increase Earth flight speed. Yes, we want that. That would be one to definitely get a boost for. So we'll just fill that in straight away. So Lyra is done. Lyra depicts the strings instrument of Orpheus. A missile Greek poet said to charm rocks and streams of his songs. Vega, a dazzling white dwarf, is the baseline for comparing colour and brightness in the other stars. Its apparent magnitude is 0.0. .0. Right, and then we can fill in Hydra as well. Or we'll start to fill it in. I don't know if we have enough to fill it in. Yeah, we need 21, so we'll just be short of it. But we should easily be able to get that filled in the coming uh, coming times. So there we go. Just get that all filled in. Spend all of those stars we got just to fill this in. So that just means when we click, we get more. So that's not the most exciting. Um, but there we go. We'll get it nonetheless just to fill it in, get the uh, achievement for it. So that's that filled in for now. Right, where are we? So we need to do Alpha Centauri. Can we do that yet? Yes, we can. That's done. That's another one of those done. Rank up Polaris next. Okay. Let's get the old Neptune up. Got the achievement there. That's probably for the constellations. There's still three more constellations, or two more after we've done Hydra. And then here we've probably got another three odd objects. So maybe there's maybe there's only one more update coming after this then. We will see. So if you think about it, this new update probably has at least three planets. So that would be one there, two, three. So what are these last three here? That implies that there may be there may be 22 episodes of this. Interesting. Right, where are we? What's will be? We'll get you a nice boost going there. Right, so Polaris. So we need to rank up this guy and Van Marine. So let's get that. Oh, that just makes us stuff instantly. Look. Hey, that's a lot more than a click as well. So we'll just keep doing that. <laughs> that gives us loads. Right. So to actually upgrade this is probably going to be very, very expensive. There's Pluto as well. Back in the system. Let's get Ganymede done. Right. This needs 52.89 OVG. Okay, so we're not we're not too far off it. I mean, meh. Okay, so we need that leveled up. And then what do we need for Van Marines? So Van Marines, is that more expensive or cheaper? So we need... Oh, yeah, Van Marines is way more expensive. <laughs> okay. Well, what we'll do in the meantime is, well, that's just doing its thing, because we need to get this guy leveled up. We need to get the card unlocked. Well, getting the card unlocked, oh, we can uh, treat ourselves, to, like we do every episode, to a black hole and get some extra cards. So there you go. This should give us a nice load of dark matter to upgrade stuff as well. Therefore, get further production bonuses. There you go. So there's a black hole. See, I want to get an object like this to unlock. I think that'd be awesome. Right. Right, okay, so there's a card we should have for the water wells. So, inner posture means awesomely huge body of water. 
in math, a language of East Africa, water worlds have oceans on the surface, under it or above it, an atmosphere of water is likely a liquid gas state due to high pressure. Most water worlds are super Earths or sub Neptunes. Excellent. Steamy atmosphere. Even with water, it is too toasty to be hassable. Like Venus, it's shrouded with a streamy atmosphere packed with large molecules, possibly water vapor or methane. Thick bright clouds block or reflect most of the starlight back to its star. Okay. So we can get this guy automated now, which is perfect. And then the steamy atmosphere up. So that guy's now automating for us quite nicely. And obviously, we got one called Dark Matter as well. Is that one we've not had before? I'm guessing it is. Where is Dark? So that's this one here. A perplexing form of matter that pervades the cosmos, exerting gravitational influence but remaining undetectable by traditional means. Its existence is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter, yet its true nature and composition continue to elude scientists. Full and ongoing research and exploration into the fundamental mysteries of the universe. Cool, so we get that up. So that's interstellar object payouts. So that buffs everyone. Cool. And we can also get these leveled up as well. Very nice. South Centauri, you're up as well. Just get all the cuts. So now we're... So these are still too expensive, really. Yeah, 2,000 each. Okay. Right, so how are we looking here? So we can get you up to level 2 now. Excellent. Cool. And then get these guys all done as well. Arctur, so we still need Vamarines done. Well, look how quick we're going now on this. Oh, that was taking ages earlier. So how much do we need to Vamarine? So 1.13 NVG. Oh, yeah, easily. Okay, there we go. Hey. Right, so that's that done. So what's next? Kepler 186F. Okay, sweet. There it is. Hey, check it out. I really like the music in this, the game music. That's nice. Right, so. It's an almost Earth's twin, just a tad bigger and denser. It orbits a life friendly distance well beyond four scorched siblings that are too close to its star. Its composition and atmosphere are unknown. A data gap for Webb and other telescopes to fill. Excellent. So, get you up to level two as well. Cool. Right, so, have a little peek at its star here. So that's Kepler 186F. There's its other planets. Check that out. Get, get their textures as well. I like how you can view all the other ones. That's really awesome. So that's Kepler 186 there. Very red. So you can see all the planets in a nice line, actually, which is pretty cool. So we've got C. Uh, then we go straight to D over here. And then we've got E. And then obviously the where we are, F, the Hattable World. So looking excellent. So we can get you straight to level 2 as well. So we get cards to this. Hattable Zone. Kepler 184F is at the edge of the Hattable Zone. Barely warm enough for water to stay liquid. It reaches only one third of the stellar energy that Earth does. With a dim red dwarf from a star, broad daylight on this planet would look like our twilight. Cool. And them leveled up still. Keep doing you guys. Heliosphere. Back to the solar system. Just get these guys. Just look at how many levels we can just get out of these now. Oh my gosh. Triton. Let's go all the way down. Okay. Right. Ceres, Vesta, Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede. Get Callisto thrown in there as well. So we've done another task here. Looking good. Hmm. Hattable Zone, that's that automates Kepler there. Looking good. So now if we go over here. Oh, there's a space. This is a mission. That's to reducing the cost. Excellent. So there we go. So check that out. Now, what is that? Multiple planets, huh? Around a star. Well, my guess is straight away is Trappist 1 because they're known for their possible Hattableness around a star. We will see. How close are we to unlocking this? Okay, so Kepler 184 and former Holtz Ring. Okay, so we need to wait to get those guys up. There's get boost that one there. Get you up to level three now. Very nice. Was 12B down there. Keep doing them. Good stuff. Pamea. And if you're wondering why I keep going, obviously not doing the ones that the game's asking me to, it's just so we can um get a bigger payout overall so it'll help us just generate currency faster than waiting for it to grind up just to unlock one of them so it seems more plausible to do it this way than just wait to get the upgrade you want because you're missing out on all this quicker production time right Enceladus as well you're up Halley's Comet oh new level for Halley's so I've never reached 13 for you nice right it's got an achievement here as well so that is get this guy up to level 3 looking good so we need to get Kepler up to 
level two. So as we can see, we need a uh, 221 NVG. We've just passed 100, so we're getting this quite quickly. So I mean, we can just spam the keyboard a bit just to get it that little bit faster. So 150, so we need 225. We will just boost straight to this one since we're getting close to it, because that's part of the that's one of the achievements we need anyway. Go nice and fast. You can hear just the intense uh, keyboard can. I'm just using my fist and just bashing the whole numpad, and in my other hand, using the other key. Right, there you go. New discoveries. That's another card for this. Okay, Trusty Waterworld. Kepler 22B. Oh, this is Kepler 22B. We're talking about 22B now. It's a super earth with a sun like star and possibly a massive ocean. The hitch is tipped on its side like Uranus. The poles take turns facing the star head on for half a year even so average temperature temperatures could be comparable to a warm spring day nice so where does it mention kepler 22b oh just here even though it's a wholly different kepler to kepler 184 well cool maybe they couldn't find another fact about 184f because obviously we won't know much about it but uh, that's quite good all right yeah give us kepler 22b that'd be a cool one nice big ocean world all right ride you up to level eight now Very good Kepler 70B, you're up as well. That's another mission done. Looking good, yeah. We're making good, uh, good progress through this. I mean, I don't know if we'll do it in one episode, um, but yeah, we're making good progress and you know, getting a solid half of this done. We've only been going for about 20 minutes, so looking good. Right, that's that telescope thing. So we've got that unlocked now. Space telescopes. So all the way back in the solar system around Earth. Very nice. Remember, that's our futurey looking Earth as well. The continents have all moved. Pretty cool. Right, let's keep leveling that up. Get that one upgraded as well. Actually, while we're here, actually, what do I need to do? Um, okay, nothing can be ranked up. Um, I can just do this and get the extra current or extra 25 of that in the well. Cool. Oh, that's got a boost. Let's definitely do that. That'll give us loads. Right, so we still need to do to get the last objects. That 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 must be Trappist one, because look, if you count, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planets. Yeah, I think that's a Trappist one. So we just need to get Former Hulk's ring upgraded. So where are we here? So can we do that? Where is it? Oh, excellent. Hey, hey. So am I right about my predictions for Trappist 1? Let's find out. Let's get that leveled up. Right. Again, okay, we'll just level these up just so we've got more currency in there as well. Right. Trappist 1. Oh, what do you know? It is. Hey, hey. Check it out. Hey, good old Trappist 1. We like Trappist 1. Cool, right. Hello. They're very close. <laughs> I mean, this is a very small star, though. Remember, Trappist 1 is a very, very way smaller than Proxima. Okay, so I got the whole system worth here, not just one planet. The Trappist 1 system. Ah, it's nice to bring that into the game. Yeah, we like Trappist 1. Yeah, that's cool. Right, so reading up, what has Trappist 1 got to say for itself? So, seven rocky worlds orbiting this. I counted eight. Did I? Or am I just going mad? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm just going mad. I must have counted a star as well. <laughs> seven rocky worlds orbit the solar star Trappist 1, shining like moons in each planet's other, or each other's skies. Three planets in the Hattable Zone, and all seven could have water. The orbital plane is flat and stable with circular paths like Earth's, but there are perils. Remember, red dwarfs do fluctuate in temperature, so they could go up in, or in luminosity, I should say. So let's actually get a look at the lineup here. So we've got Trappist 1b, closest to the objects. So this definitely isn't one of the candidates there. You see the Sun and Alpha Centauri are quite nearby over there. Okay, so Trappist 1B. Then we got 1C. Where's C? C. B. Where, where's C? B. It goes straight to... Oh, there he is. There we go. It was hidden. So there's C. Then we got D very close. Look how close they are. Oh. I mean, they're slowly passing each other here. Oh, let's speed up the time a bit. There you go. That's more like it. Whoa. Oh, they're flying really close. All right, so there's uh, D, so you can see. Yeah, looking pretty cool. All right, then we got... Oh, my God, B's going around really fast. Then we got E. Uh, that one. Hey, check that out. That one actually has oceans. Cool. So there's one E. Then we have F. Look how much faster B's going around. All right, F there. Cool. And then G, the last Trappist planet. Oh, no, we've got H as well. No, we've got H. So there's G. Looks more like a gassy kind of world there. And lastly, H. 
There he is. Very nice. Okay, so hang on. I just want to see how if we speed it up. How fast does the oh yeah, they are going way quicker. <laughs> nice. Right, Trappist one. Get those leveled up as well while we're here. Cool. Another golden thing. Trappist one system. So that probably is the yeah. So that's leads on to the final update. I'm guessing over here because there's only three more objects to unlock on according to the achievements menu. Interesting stuff. Right. That's that unlocked. Right, so... I think that hopefully we can probably finish this off in one go here, really. So, Cool. There's a diamond cross there for you. Kepler as well will boost that. Right. I'm guessing Trappist upgrades are probably quite expensive. So we need 17.33 TG. We're only at coming up to 10 TG. So that's going to take a little while, maybe. I mean, I don't know how quick we're going to grow. Yeah, that may take quite a while. Right, so we need to do Sedna anyway. We'll get you up. That's one of the issues ones it wanted us to do. So all new levels for Neptune, Uranus, Triton here as well we need to do. Very nice. We're going into the unknown with these levels as well. Because we never got them this high. Cool. Titan as well. Looking good. Right. Ganymede as well. I want to get those cards upgraded because they're very crucial as well to get all these done quick. So we've got another achievement unlocked there. So we need to do the astronomy mission. We need to photograph the, the Trappist system. So I mean, that's easy. Just do that. That's that done. Or is it? Yep, that's done. So that's another one of these. Very nice. I think I got a card for Trappist one there. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Collect Stardust and rank up Trappist 1. That's literally all we have to do. And then just do this astronomy. So that just takes time. We can't boost that really any quicker. So that's just a time waiting exercise there. Uh, we can level up something. I want to see what cards we get for the other ones as well. Oh my god, level 20 sun now. Hey. Nice. So big levels. What if they ever max out or does it just keep going forever? All right. go have a gold thing there just get the extra boost why not so it looks like we're making currency a lot quicker i just looked at the top there briefly seven yeah that's going a lot quicker now just keep doing trappers as well just keep letting that do it all but how long does that take that takes one minute 24 to do a full right a full payment right okay hell box we to get all these guys up as well nicely done so yeah, look, quite a bit grindy, but we'll get through it nonetheless. So there you go. And then once this is done, I think what we'll do is we'll come back once the game has done what it's got to do. So there you go. Looking good. So that's literally everything working. So we just have to wait for the game to just do its thing now. And give us the uh, payment we need. So I will be back with you guys once, um, once that has happened. Okay, everyone. So I have returned... It's been about an hour since we um, last played, so I'm just going to we'll double what we got. Why not? Right, so let's see whereabouts we are sitting with these missions now. So the Space Telescope, that should be level 3, so that's done that. Let's start that again, I guess. Keep that going. Right, so all that's left now is rank up Trappist and collect the Stardust stuff. So let's see whereabouts we are in an hour. Okay, so we can get Trappist straight up. Ooh, I like the little uh, effect with them all there. That's pretty cool. Right, there's New Discovery. Very nice. Perils to life. The tiny Trappist one is the coldest known parent star, but its offspring keep close and warm. Most of them are tidally locked with extremes of heat and night, but the, and they endure strong tidal forces and radiation flares. Life is still maybe with more data to come. Cool. So that uh, gets that automated now, which is perfect. Okay, and then the only other mission left is collect the Stardust. So if it's taken me an hour to get 225 TG, so it'll probably take me another hour. So I'll probably come back in an hour's time once we've just leveled up everyone here. Also, we can get the production boost a little quicker. So yeah, it should easily be done within an hour, hopefully, of this. And then that is this episode completed. So let's get these guys all done. And then I'll see you guys probably for the final part as we uh, finish this episode up. So let's go ahead and do that. Good tackle, why not? Throw it in. Burn the star up to level 9 now. I remember when this guy was a pain to level up. Right. And then again, Maya, straight up for you. And yeah, guys, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep leveling these up before I just quickly hop off this again. Oh, that's everyone done, actually. Okay, cool. Got another achievement there. That's probably for Bernard's level 9. Oh, no, that was um, Kepler, actually. Never mind. We did Bernard's, didn't we? All right, cool. So there we are, guys. And then let's um, just do that. Just 
put that mission on there, get more of the Dark Matter stuff. But yeah, in the meantime, all that's left is the grind. That's, and look, it's already gone up to 300,000. I'll probably have to come back in like 15 minutes. It's probably be done, actually. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the near future. Okay, everyone. So, 34 minutes later, we've easily got... I can see we've easily got enough there. So, we're just going to go ahead and click that. And that is the last achievement done, or the last requirement done. So, there we go. That is now maxed out. So, if you enjoyed this episode, let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. I have to say, it's a, it's a good one. I enjoyed that. I mean, uh, free, only three objects uh, this time compared to the previous uh, the previous set where we had um, five, didn't we? We had former Hulk going all the way to... Um, 55 can cry e here wasn't it so yeah so it's on the short end of things but yeah enjoyed it nonetheless and yeah let me know what you think of that um down below in the comments and yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to press that like button subscribe help us on the journey to um 40 000 subscribers and yeah that all said and done guys make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye